Hey YouTubers, it's Vince Romano26 here and I'm coming to you today with a flea market haul for September 20th of 2015. Found a few things here or there, mostly resale items and a few keepsakes. Spent probably 30 something dollars and I will definitely be making my money back. The very first thing that I want to show you is this, um, I would guess it's from the 1960s, it's a factory workers uniform. It's marked uh, I think 17A, 37, I think it was 17A, lot 310 from West, e West X. That costs me three bucks. I think I should probably be able to get $25, $30 for that. It's in beautiful condition. No stains or anything on it, to the best of my knowledge. So that was cool. Alright, next piece that I want to show, or piece is, I should say, I want to show you are these uh, vintage Christmas die cuts. I paid, I think, oh, what else did I get from that guy? So I paid that. Oh, I got the car for this little um, Model T car for a buck that I'm just going to throw on my toy shelf for a buck. And then I got this. I think I got, I got all of this stuff here for $7. So the, this was three. This was four. Or no. So these are probably, I'll say these were three bucks for the stack of this stuff. I got a bunch of the reindeer. Um... I'm picking the one out that's in the best of shape. I got three of them. This one, the, everything is all ripped up and everything, so I'm just going to get rid of those. And what's nice about these is I know these are vintage because if you look on the back, they're all thick, heavy cardboard. So that's a good indication um, if you're looking for vintage pieces. So I'll show you all of them. we got a cute little snowman. We've got Santa Claus. We have another reindeer, which is beat up. Snowman, we've got Santa on a sleigh, and that's dated to like the 50s. We've got a wreath here. We've got a jolly snowman. we got another wreath. And this was the oldest of them all. This one's definitely from the 40s or the 50s. And then we got some bells, and we got another uh, Christmas tree, and then of course another Santa. Again, they all ha have that thick, heavy cardboard, and sorry, I just stuttered. I'm really tired today. So I got all those. That was a good deal. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to put those up in future years. For a dollar, I got this, um, I think some of them are magazine cutouts. Like, I can tell this one's a magazine cutout. And these are just pictures. You got Carmen Miranda, uh, Susan Hayward. I forget who this guy is. David. If y'all can read that, let me focus in there for you. I won't focus. David Haven? I can't read it. Something. E something. And then I don't remember who this is. Um, so, again, I only paid a dollar for this um, sheet right here. And that's just going to go in my book of antique paper stuff. I bought this, um, I would say, 50s or 60s. Uh, it's made by... Swank, it's a road guardian, it's battery operated, it's made in Japan. Again, paid two dollars, I should be able to get sixty bucks for this. It's in good shape, there's a little bit of paint wear, like right there, but other than that, it's beautiful, I haven't tested it, the battery compartment is clean, there's a whistle, and it looks great. This came with all those um, Christmas decorations. Um, don't know if I'm what I'm going to do with this, I might donate it again, because I kind of just realized, hey, it's really not my style, but... It's unique. I like the velvet feel of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might just donate it. Okay, and then from the same lady I bought the pictures in the uh, Swank Road Guardian. I bought this really, really neat looking um, Rose Haven pinup uh, matchbook for $3. These don't sell for very much online. Uh, I just bought it because I like the girl on it. And it's not really too naughty. I mean, she's just, I think, fastening her bikini top. She's pretty... Let's see if I can get that in there. Oh, come on. Focus. There we go. She's pretty busty and curvy. I mean, she's kind of got a little bit of a rear. Sorry if anybody's offended by that. So I got that for a really cool piece. That was a really cool piece. Sorry. Next piece I want to show you is this neat um, 1960s, 1970s uh, kitschy blue owl sitting on a uh, branch. That cost me a whole dollar. That's marked Japan. I'm going to put that somewhere. I might put that on my dresser or something like that. I couldn't pass it up for a dollar. I liked the color of him, and he's just neat. 
I kind of like kitschiness. Uh, for those of you who've never been on my channel, I definitely love kitschy pieces of vintage stuff. For $3, I managed to get this um, 1970s um, Melted Popcorn Santa. I had one of these that were from the Goodwill, say about a summer ago, and I bought him not realizing that his hand was missing here. So I found this one complete for 3 bucks, and I'm going to hang it up, and sorry, my flash just went out. I'm starting to not like this phone very much because the flash goes out on me every single time I film. Alright, and my last two pieces that I want to show you, I bought for $2 a piece. They're very, very heavy uh, milk glass lampshades. One's got kind of a square pattern to it, and this other one just got a circular, kind of like a stovetop design to it. Paid $2 a piece for those. I should probably be able to get $10 to $12 a piece for those. And yeah, that's my small little uh, haul for you guys. I'm sorry if the flash went out yet again. Um, I will see what the issue is with my phone and why it does that. Uh, if you guys haven't already done so, please remember to... Oh. Sorry, all I forgot. One more piece that is actually my favorite find of the entire weekend. I bought this really, really neat, um, 1941 Mayer, uh, bread loaf advertising calendar for... It says right up here... $35, but I ended up getting it for 20 and I absolutely love it, minus the fact that it has a bit of wear and tear to it. But it's definitely cool. It's definitely World War II era. The calendar's complete. Everything is there. I'm going to probably either find a place to hang this, or I'm going to find a frame for it if I can. If not, I'm just going to hang it up somewhere in here. So that is my little haul for you guys today. If you haven't already done so, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment as well, and stay tuned for future videos. Bye.